How you doing ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy DJ King A1 and today we're going to be doing a review on the Day Electric Lighter. Now what's a Day Electric Lighter? Well first off, that's the name of it, D-A-E. And this is what we're talking about. Now, first and foremost, ladies and gentlemen, if anybody knows me, we're going to talk about the pros and we're going to talk about the cons. Now, and me personally, it's more cons than it is pros for the first time. So let's jump right into it. First and foremost, the color I picked out was white and gold. Why? Because it looks good. Now, the first con is that this is zinc alloy. Now, the one thing I know about zinc alloy is if it get wet or anything like that, it does seem to corrode it somewhat. So, not this. I just bought it, but I know zinc alloy, when it does get wet multiple times, it can corrode it. So, that's one major thing I'm worried about. Even though, in the description on Amazon, it says that it's windproof dust proof and is also waterproof now i'm not going to try it in the water because i don't want to mess this up so we're just going to keep it as that a mystery now speaking of the windproof when i first bought it opened it up and tested it it kind of held up but the more i blew it actually went out so we're going to try it again and hopefully it don't and if it do yeah, just let me know it's not all the way windproof. Now, the one biggest and the main con that really kind of got to me is if you check this one item out on Amazon, it actually says it's a fingerprint scanner. Fingerprint scanner. Now, when I read in the description, it actually said that it's supposed to be 100% fingerprint scanner where you can set it up to your finger and instead of just clicking any fingers, you just click that main you use that main finger to click it. So, I tried it, and this is not a fingerprint scanner. See, that's the main reason I bought this. I bought it because I have a little nephew, a great nephew at that. And knowing him, if he came in my office, and if he seen this, he would think this is a toy car. And if he opens this up and press this button, since it is so sensitive, I know he's going to want to touch it, and I know he's going to burn itself. So... To me personally, this was a definite, definite big letdown because I really thought I was buying a fingerprint scanning lighter. Now, I know that's kind of crazy, but the way technology is going, I kind of figured that it might be. Now, like I said, another con is the sensitivity on the button. It is very sensitive. Let me demonstrate. Now, we got it up as you see. light touch and there you go now another thing that kind of worries me about this and this is I guess you could say a con is the fact that when you close it down after you had it on for a good minute the latch heats up and it heats up enough to where you can touch it and you can actually feel that it's warm now that's not a big issue now but if it sits like this long, and let's just say you have it on real long. Let's just say you're trying to really light something, and you close it. I'm kind of scared that it might get too hot to where it can kind of burn you. So that's another kind. Now, let's kind of get off the cons right now. Let's get to the good things. Let's get to the positive things. One, it's an electric lighter. Positive. Two... It's real sleek in design. And the fact that it comes in variety of colors, it makes it even better. Now, the fact that it does look like your average, you know what I'm saying, car slash USB, car slash USB, sorry about that. It also look like a keyless entry, you know, type thing for your car. That's another cool thing. The fact that you can recharge it, that's even better. The fact that you don't have to worry about no type of lighter that you have to either, you know, use brutane or any of that such, it makes it even better. It's clean, efficient. You don't have to worry about lighting it 
and have to worry about clicking and taking your finger off and it goes off. So that's another great thing. And the best thing about it is that you have a crisscross design and it stays on long enough so you can light your cigarette, cigar or whatever, as you can see. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a test right quick. Oh, before I even do the test. That's the charger, unfortunately. But what can we do about it? Now, as you see, this is actually, and just to let y'all know, even though this is supposed to be a consistent stand-on type of lighter, we're gonna do a test. We're gonna do a blow simple test, just a wind test. You ready? Let's go. Alright, so you see it? So went out. Let's try it again. Oh. Sorry about that. Gotta close it, open it, light it. Okay. Okay. Even though it's on the timer, as you see, I blew on it real hard, and it still worked. You know what I'm saying? Even though, I forget, that's another kind. It's supposed to stay on as long as you clicked it on. It don't supposed to go off at a certain time. But, you know what? I can't complain about that. Because that's actually a good thing. That means that you ain't going to waste a lot of energy. So, in my opinion with this lighter, what do I give it? I have to actually give it an 8 out of 10. Why? Because the only reason I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 is because it don't do all the way what it's supposed to do in the description if you look it up on Amazon. But the fact that you can keep recharging it, the fact that it's electric, and the fact that it does work, it gets an 8 out of 10. Now... Another thing I'm going to show y'all, and this is just right quick. This is not really going to be a review. And this is my humidor that I bought. Nice little humidor. You know what I'm saying? $32. You can't get mad at it. Amazon again. Will be filled with cigars soon. So, all right, y'all. This is your boy DJ King A1. And I'll talk to y'all later.